Hello, this video describes scales of measurement. The four different types of scales that we're going to talk about and that make up the, the basic four types of data that are used in any research study or statistical analysis are nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. The first type of data that we're going to talk about is nominal data, which is also called categorical data. And this is data where um, a variable, uh, where there's no intrinsic ordering to the categories of a variable. So one example is gender. So the two categories of gender, male and female, have no intrinsic ordering to them, and they also have no numerical value. So there are lots of other examples. So you could be doing a, a randomized controlled trial where you, every patient or participant is either in the control group or the treatment group. So again, those are sort of different categories with no intrinsic ordering. Another example with more categories is religion. So each patient may have a value uh, on the religion variable that corresponds to um, each of these categories. Okay, but there is no, even though you might uh, represent that value, that particular type of religion with a number, there's no inherent meaning to that particular value. It's just a marker of, um, of which category of religion the patient falls into. So that's nominal uh, data. So the key here is there's no intrinsic order. To the categories of the variable. So ordinal data um, is like nominal in the sense that the values have no numerical value, but it's different um, from nominal data in that you can order the categories. So here's an example of an ordinal variable. This is, this is one question in a um, perceived stress scale asking, in the past month, how often have you felt that you were unable to control the important things in life? And when you answer this question, you can circle any of these um, five options, which are associated with a number. So you can see that um, there is a ranking. So somebody who selects never, never is less than sometimes, never is less than almost never, all of these, okay? Very often is more than all of these, etc. So there is a ranking, there is an order to these variables, hence the name ordinal data. However, you can't say that the difference between never and almost never is the same as the difference between almost never and sometimes. So um, interval data, which is the next type of data we'll talk about, is defined by there being an equal distance between each value on the variable. So ordinal data is you're able to rank it, but there is not an equivalent um, change in quantity from um, between each level of the variable. Okay, so they're ranked, but there's no inherent numerical meaning to the values of an ordinal variable. So because of this, um, ordinal and nominal data are uh, considered qualitative data, where interval and ratio data, which is what we're going to talk about next, are considered quantitative data. So for nominal variables and ordinal variables, you cannot calculate a mean and a standard deviation um, because they don't have any meaning because, of the, because they don't have numerical uh, value. But for interval and ratio data, you can. And so all kinds of statistics are um, available for interval and ratio data, but not for nominal and ordinal data. So nominal and ordinal data kind of fit into one category and um, interval and ratio in another. And you have to use different kinds of statistical analysis techniques with each of these different types of data. So interval and ratio data are considered the highest levels of measurement um, because, like I said, there are lots of statistics that you can use um, with interval and ratio data that you can't use on the qualitative types of data, nominal and ordinal. 
So one example of interval data is um, temperature. So here's a, a picture of a thermometer, and um, there are two scales on this uh, thermometer. There's Fahrenheit and Celsius, okay? But what's critical, the reason that this is called, uh, this is temperature is an interval, is interval data, is an interval variable, is because the difference between um, 120 and 100, say right here, is the same as the distance between 40 and 60. So basically, 20 uh, units on the scale, at any point in the scale, is going to be equivalent. So um, the you can remember that the values on the variable are uh, positioned at equal intervals. Okay. So this is a, again, as I said, a quantitative variable, and you can get means and standard deviations, and it makes sense. Similarly with uh, Celsius. So even though they're different scales, they still both have the property whereby the a difference between two units um, is the same at any point on the scale. So this is an example of a scale that has numeric meaning, right? Because the distance between two points has numeric value, the same numeric value across the entire um, uh, entire scale. But what's important about an interval um, variable that's different from a ratio variable is that for the interval variable, zero has no meaning, okay? So here, zero is just, um, is actually a temperature. Zero doesn't mean no temperature, right? So zero is just a, a sort of almost arbitrary point on the scale. So it's, you know, in a different place in this on the Celsius scale than it is on the Fahrenheit scale. So ratio data, which is the next and last type of um, data that we're going to talk about, is um, defined by having a, a zero point, a true zero. So it's just like interval data, but in the case of ratio data, the zero means none of the variable, okay? So weight is a good example of a ratio variable because zero weight means there is no weight. So height is a good example of a ratio variable. Um, and as you can see in this picture of the measuring tape, we've got inches on one side and centimeters on the other. But they, even though the scales are different, okay, they both uh, start at the same point, which is zero. And zero means the same thing for both the centimeter scale and the inches feet uh, scale. So, um, and namely, it means zero of the variable, so zero height. So weight is zero weight, whether you measure it in kilograms or pounds. Zero, uh, you know, height is zero, whether you measure it in feet or centimeters. So, um, so zero has meaning. It's not arbitrary, as in the case of temperature, which is an interval variable. Um, and so this has implications um, you can take the ratio of two different values on a scale, um, and that has meaning. For example, 50 inches is half the height um, as 100 inches, or 50 inches is twice as tall as 25 inches. Similarly, 127 centimeters is twice as much as 63 and a half centimeters. So, um, so because there is a fixed value of zero, you can't talk about the ratio, where you can't do that with temperature. So that's not extremely important, but it's just so you have a sense of how, what, how ratio and interval data differ. But the main thing to remember is ratio and interval data are both quantitative um, variables, quantitative types of variables, which you can use correlation, regression, and all the uh, most of the wonders of you know, quantitative statistics with these types of variables, whereas for categorical or qualitative variables, nominal and ordinal, you don't, you shouldn't use all of those, that whole range of statistical analyses. So just to summarize, we have two basic types of data, qualitative data, which has no numerical value, and quantitative data, which has numerical value. And there are two types of qualitative data that we discussed. Uh, nominal data, which 
cannot be ordered at all, so examples are male and female. Ordinal data, which can be ordered, so something like agree, um, neutral, disagree. But there, in neither of those is there any numerical value to the, um, the um, variable. And for quantitative data, we had interval data, which um, is defined as having numerically equal intervals throughout the range of the scale, and ratio data, which is the same as interval data, but it has a true zero point on the scale. So that's all for scales of measurement.